Welcome to the how to install your flood check video. First, make sure you have all the parts you need and know what size your pipes are. In the UK and most of Europe, 15mm or 22mm pipes are used. The flood check auto valve comes with fittings for both sizes and other sizes are available. Now you need to turn off your main water supply. To do this, turn on the cold water tap over your kitchen sink and leave it running. Now locate your main stopcock and turn it off. It might be quite stiff. Go back to the tap you left on and make sure that the mains water has stopped flowing. It may take a few seconds to stop fully. The flood check auto valve needs to be installed directly or as near as possible to your main stopcock. First, check the direction of water flow through your stopcock. There may be an arrow on the side of the stopcock to indicate the direction of flow. Now, make sure there is enough space to fit the flood check after your stopcock. You will need a minimum of 200 mm, 8 inches, for 15 mm pipes, and 225 mm, 9 inches, for 22 mm pipes. Now you need to mark your existing pipe 50 mm or 2 inches from your stopcock and 200 mm or 8 inches from your stopcock. Remember it has to be in the direction of flow. Now you need to cut your pipe at the two marks and remove the 150 mm or 6 inch piece of pipe. This will be 6.5 inches or 165 mm for the 22 mm pipe. Make sure you use a pipe cutter and not a hacksaw. Fit the magnet ring to the small piece of pipe before pushing the pipe connectors onto the pipe. Now fit the washer and screw the flood check auto valve onto the pipe connector. Make sure that you do not cross thread and do not over tighten the nuts. Take the other connector and fit that with the washer to the flood check auto valve. Push the cut pipe into the connector and make sure all nuts are tight. Again, make sure not to over tighten the nuts. Turn the tap off in the kitchen sink. Turn the water mains back on and check thoroughly for any leaks. The only thing you need to do now is connect the low voltage power supply to a nearby power socket. Your flood check is now working and protecting your property. It is very important to note that if you have removed or disturbed the green earthing cable near your stopcock, you must replace it with the link cable that is supplied in your kit. Full instructions are included. The flood check auto valve is easy to operate. In case the flood check auto valve turns off your water and you're sure there is no leak in your property, just press the reset button. Wait 25 seconds and your water will come back on. Flood check auto valve has two adjustable functions. The timeout function can be set from 10 minutes up to 40 minutes. And the excess flow can be set from 10 litres per minute to 40 litres per minute. Use the plastic screwdriver that comes with the flood check auto valve to adjust these settings. Remember not to use a normal metal screwdriver. To increase the setting, turn the screwdriver carefully clockwise, and to decrease the setting, turn anti-clockwise. The two features that are not adjustable are the freeze protector, which turns off your water if the temperature falls below 3 degrees Celsius, and the no-use feature, which turns off your mains water after 24 hours of not being used. As the stopcock and the flood check auto valve are often installed in a hard-to-access area, we recommend installing the remote switch, which can simply be installed anywhere in your property. Make sure that you have your installation manual to hand. These will fully cover both surface and flush installations. If you choose the flush install and hard wiring, make sure that you have experience working with electric cables and that you have the right tools. If you have no experience, we advise you seek a qualified electrician to carry out your flood check remote switch installation. This video will show you how to connect the remote switch using the surface mount plug and play option for your remote switch installation. The lead supplied will enable you to install it 3 meters from the valve, but with a 4 core cable you can install it anywhere in your property. For surface mounting, secure the remote switch to a flat surface using the screws or self-adhesive pads supplied. Now take the low voltage cable and unplug it from the flood check auto valve and plug it into the small socket on the front of the remote switch marked 12 VDC. Use the larger jack cable to connect the remote switch to the flood check auto valve. The power light on the flood check auto valve should now be on. The lights on the remote switch will alternate whilst the remote switch is setting up. If everything is installed correctly, the green light should come on after a short time and your water will turn on. 
With the remote switch, there are two added features, so you have more control over your flood check auto valve. The bypass function, which allows you to use the water for one hour, in case you need to water the lawn, for example. And the vacate button, which turns off your water whilst you're away from your property. Just press reset when you return home and your water will come back on. You are now ready to use your flood check auto valve and remote switch.